let me tell you who this guy is. Sam is the founder of Ikigai Lab, and it is a purpose incubator delivering experiences rooted in the Japanese concept of Ikigai, strengths-based positive psychology. He's also the chief Ikigai guy at Connect, three times founder. I'm going to ask him what that means, by the way. And Sam, thanks for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, Preston. I, uh, I'm excited to talk to you and our conversation at uh, the Future Proof Festival. Wasn't a conference. Festival yeah, yeah. Was, uh, was a highlight. Definitely was a highlight. Most definitely. So uh, we were chopping it up here just a minute ago. What the heck is 3X there for? Yeah, Connect3X. So Connect3X, uh, I'll first say Connect3X, our goal is to put the human in human capital. Uh, but it stands for connect three times. So connect with yourself, connect with your peers, and connect with experts. And so we bring we do uh, ecosystem design, where essentially we'll bring in Gallup certified strengths coaches that focus on mindset, registered dietitian nutritionists that focus on nutrition, uh, and certified holistic health professionals that will focus on everything from uh, sleep and health optimization and all the good stuff. And so we bring in uh, these experts to help support performance and well-being uh, for purpose-driven organizations. Oh, wow. You know, that, that sounds a lot about self-care and, and investing in oneself, because you mentioned human capital, and we, we need that to thrive yeah. and, and prosper. And, you know, you heard us kick off the show about aligning, you know, life and money to help us create our life's design and help us, you know, live aspirationally, self-care and and money and all that helps us go on our path. But before we get to all of that, uh, EK Guy is something that's really been, I mean, I just found out about it here recently. How did you come about EK Guy and what's it all about? Yeah, yeah. Uh, one of my favorite topics. Um, so I'll first start off with what is it? So Ikigai is a 1000 year old Japanese concept that can be interpreted as the reason for being. So there's no direct English translation, but it can mean your purpose or um, uh, essentially your reason for being. So 1000 years old has uh, empirical links to longevity, creativity, happiness, joy, all the good stuff. Uh, and my path to finding Ikigai is through my Japanese heritage, so those largely inspired by my great grandparents came to America in the early 1900s to preserve the legacy of a 1200 year old Shinto shrine in Fukuoka, Japan. And so, you know, I have this background in financial services and change management, uh, found the story of their journey and in particular, my great grandmother's journey that was really rooted in living a life with purpose. So, um, I could tell, Tell you, a, a, we could fill the entire podcast with the story and the inspiration behind the story, but I'll just leave it with uh, that's what Ikigai is. That is uh, the inspiration that that uh, compelled me to to focus on this ancient wisdom tradition. Now, yeah, thanks for sharing that. Particularly, like stories, not only about, about what Ikigai is, but mm -hmm. also how it ties into you know your family heritage, because you know. You know, you know, the show is about life and money. So people's experiences, values, their identity, you know. So you found something that you've brought forward, you know, a, you, a, a custom, something you found deep inside of you. And now you've brought it forward to purpose. And I, and in my investigation, I found these, these four P's. But you let, let's unpack those here in a minute. But what do, you know, the, what is the framework you know, it's original framework. What does EK guy use, you know, for to find like purpose and meaning in life? Yeah, great question. So the the probably the first thing to say there is that if you Google EK guy, you're going to see a four circle Venn diagram that is not EK guy. So that framework, which is um, it's a it's an interesting framework. It asks four questions. So what are you good at? What do you love to do? What does the world need? and what can you get paid to do? And according to this beautiful four circle Venn diagram, 
that's incorrect. If you find if you find one thing that answers those four questions, you've discovered your EKI. That's not, in fact, what your EKI is because of that last question.